Can you believe it? The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Ship 30 has made its highly anticipated debut, outfitted with its new armor and ready to tackle the challenges ahead. But that's not all. Polaris Dawn astronauts have just completed testing their brand new EVA suits, bringing us closer than ever to witnessing the first private spacewalk in orbit. And if that wasn't enough, Astra Space has made a dramatic move by going private after a long period of financial struggles. Will this bold decision be their ticket to a comeback? Today we're diving into these thrilling updates and more on SpaceX. Let's start with Flight 5, which is rapidly approaching. The preparations are ramping up as we speak. On July 15th, Booster 12 successfully completed its static fire test, a crucial step in its preparation for the upcoming wet dress rehearsal alongside Ship 30. Speaking of Ship 30, after a two-month hiatus, it's finally back in the limelight and the excitement is building. On July 19th, the first sign of activity came with images showing the removal of the scaffolding used for the heat shield installation. This was followed by the transportation of lifting jigs to the production site, ready for action. On July 20th, Ship 30 made its grand exit from High Bay, rolling into Mega Bay 2. Just hours later, it was elevated onto the transport stand and by July 21st had been swiftly moved to the Massey test site. This move is a big deal. It sets the stage for SpaceX's highly anticipated static fire test of Ship 30. This will be the first time an active prototype is tested using the new flame trench system, a significant upgrade from the previous setup at Pad B. The upcoming test will serve two critical purposes. First, it will allow SpaceX to assess the new engine configuration, including the replacement of two vacuum engines. Second, it will test the new heat shield system's reliability. The static fire test is essential to evaluate how well the new heat shield holds up under real conditions. As of now, there are no road closures scheduled for the Ship 30 test. But expect updates soon, likely within the week as we near the end of July. Speeding up is crucial to ensure Ship 30's progress aligns with that of Booster 11. Now let's dive into the details of Ship 30's new heat shield. At first glance, it might not seem like much has changed, but there are significant updates beneath the surface. The new ablative layer on Ship 30 replaces the old white felt layers. This black ablative layer is thinner, but is paired with an additional felt layer above it for extra protection. The goal is to create a smooth surface and enhance overall durability. The tile system itself appears unchanged in thickness or size, but improvements might be in less visible aspects such as layout or internal components. The nose cone area has also been updated, with SpaceX switching from blue to red adhesive for better performance. Another critical update involves the gap fillers. SpaceX has addressed previous issues with gaps on Ship 29's flap by adding gap fillers to prevent plasma damage. For pin-attached tiles, felt layers serve as gap fillers, while other areas use adhesives. Ship 30's design aims to eliminate gaps and improve protection, making it a major upgrade over previous prototypes. Moving on, let's talk about the SpaceX EVA suit for the Polaris Dawn mission. The crew, including billionaire Jared Isaacman, is gearing up for a historic summer launch. They've just completed final testing of SpaceX's new EVA suits at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This iconic facility, which supported testing for the Gemini and Apollo programs, has now hosted the final tests for these cutting-edge suits. The tests gathered crucial data on how the suits perform in a vacuum environment, including biometric and thermal responses. SpaceX aims to be ready for the first commercial spacewalk from Dragon this summer, marking a new era in private space exploration. 
Finally, let's shift our focus to Astra Space and its major transformation. On July 18th, Astra concluded its public tenure and transitioned to a private company. The deal closed at 50 cents per share, a steep drop from its previous valuation. Astra has faced severe financial challenges, with Rocket 3 achieving only two successful launches out of seven attempts. With Rocket 4 in development and a shift towards generating revenue through engine sales, co-founder Chris Kemp is optimistic about the future. The team is eager to focus on getting Rocket 4 back on the pad and hopes for a more successful flight. Will Astra's new direction help them turn things around? As we conclude today's episode, the space industry is buzzing with incredible developments. Ship 30's debut, equipped with its new heat shield and advanced armor, is a major milestone for SpaceX. The upcoming static fire test will be crucial in assessing these enhancements and could significantly impact future space missions. The Polaris Dawn mission is also making waves. With the recent successful tests of SpaceX's new EVA suits, we're on the verge of witnessing the first commercial spacewalk by private citizens. This achievement not only marks a significant step for SpaceX, but also opens new horizons for private space exploration. Astra Space's shift to a private company is another major development. Uh, after facing financial challenges, this strategic move aims to refocus efforts on Rocket 4 and generate revenue through engine sales. It's a crucial moment that could pave the way for a comeback. The rapid advancements and bold moves we're seeing highlight an exciting future for space exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.